Welcome everybody to mail time. I'm hooked on this game. I cannot stress it enough of how much I wanted to get back into it and try to complete it. We got a lot of achievements so far. I'm not gonna lie. Friggin' Steam was like honking at me going, look at all my friggin' rewards and achievements that you got. That is awesome, but we did not complete our goal. And that is to enjoy the beautiful arts and the beautiful design and the beautiful atmosphere of mail time. So let's get into it. We gotta find Greg somehow, some way. We gotta find Sindar. We have to get Clarence. Well, we found Sindar, but we gotta find more of the coins. Cause you know, Kiki is a little bit crazy for her coins. His coins. Forgot it's a male. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> um, uh, bring the collected items to Clarence. We gotta find Clarence. Kaz, and then Ham. So this is to Kaz. I don't know where Kaz is. S Ham said in a purple house. Irene, we need to go to the swamp. For the swamp. Okay. But yeah, we gotta get some stuff. We're gonna go. We stopped over by over here, but Kiki... So let's see what he's going to, let's see what's going to happen, honestly. If I go to Sindar and I say, hey, oh, Eva, Eva, do you have the coin, all the coins? Yep, all four. Oh, we do have all four. Hot diggly dog. You are amazing, fantastic, stunning, breathtaking, and I will forever, I'll never forget this I will never forget this. Here, I've written an apology note to Kiki. Could you uh, take that to the coin, to the coins back to him? Maybe now I can still make it out of this alive. Turns out you're not only a male scout in training, but also a lucky charm preventment service. Seems there's a good money in that. It's my first day, and I'm already holding a bag of priceless coins. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm getting nervous again. Please bring the note to... And the coins to Kiki, okay? I got it covered. I got it covered, Clip. Cinder, I got it covered. Don't you worry about it, bud. Don't you dare worry about it. Hi, Kiki. I have them. My coins. I guess you were at least a little capable. Then there's a note from a little Cinder, too. Let's see what he, she has to say for herself. She... This kind... This kid c clearly respects me. Not sure why. And she's obviously loves the coins. Oh, darn it. I'm gonna do something I said I never would do. Uh, what? Scout this collection. Although priceless. None of these coins are really important. This one, though. This is my favorite coin. The first coin I ever earned. Selling apple juice as a kid. As a kid? I was writing my own letters to deliver. I'm sure that made you rich. Like a... Like my apple juice stand uh, made me. Oh, uh, well. Even though this coin means a lot to me. It shouldn't be gathered, gathering dust. It should live on in a new collection. Bring this coin to Cinder. Oh, and this letter too. You know, a please wouldn't hurt. But I'll do it for Cinder. Hey! Wow. <laughs> Cute. Congrats, you earned the coin. Nice. What the heck? What did I do? I don't know. I pressed the button and she sat. It was really cute. I didn't know what how to do it again. Oh well. Here you go, Cinder. Uh, give it to me straight, Scout. 
Will I live to see another day? How about you read this and find out your, for yourself? Oh, nuts. Oh. Holy pie in the sky. Did he? Did he really? Yep, he did. Eva, I have my first coin. Yippee! Uh, you're gonna name your coin? What are you gonna name your coin? Are you supposed to, to name them? Uh, I don't know. It feels right to me. Well then, I'll name this coin Ava. Aww, because you saved me from being turned into a lucky charm. Oh, and another thing. Here, take this drawing you made. And now... Aww, cute! And now you have something to remember this by as well. Thanks, Cinder. That's so kind of you. All thanks for you. Now I must direct my full attention to Ava. Oh, coin Ava, I mean. I got that. <laughs> See you later. That's so cute. Aww. I got my name out of a coin. Alright. So now we gotta do is... We gotta go and bring... We gotta do this for Clarence. Okay. Oh, wait. What do I bring for Clarence? Wood? I believe it was wood. It was wood that I needed to get for Albert. So then he can do his um, crafting with stuff. Or maybe I can go back and actually talk to him again. And then see what he needs. Or like what direction he was pointing me toward. I gotta go this way, though. Uh... Oh, please get my jumps on cue. I'd be sad if I didn't. Alright, get a running start. Oh. oh, I did not make it. Almost did not make it. Scout! Are you there? It's me. It is. And what's more? I got the goods. Or should I say woods? Oh, I had them. Okay, good. See, I can tell that it's funny. But somehow, I don't feel like laughing. Oh. They ain't all cause be... Uh, good zip, pal. That's just how it goes sometimes. I suppose. Well, anyway, here it is. Let's take a good look at this tiny uh, timber. Soft enough to carve. Hot enough to hold small details. Even wood grain. Yep, this is the top notch wood right here. Really? Yep. Albert's got to dig this unlike anything he has ever dug before. I better bring it to him quick then. Time to peel to the metal. I have no peels nor metals. Oh, well. Then delivering this wood will be... Delivering this wood will have to do. Good luck, little buddy. Sweet! Wee! Albert, I got the goods. I got the goods, Albert. Did you get... Any word from Annie? What did she say? Did she reveal what she, uh, reveal what she wanted? Oh, I hope I wasn't too obvious. I don't think you... I don't think Annie might appreciate something handmade. A labor of love, if you will. Oh, lordy lord. I haven't even thought about that yet. Oh, no. Will she think I'm lazy if I just buy her something? I think she doesn't mind at all. She's lovely. Isn't she? I'm a lucky man. She's stuck with me this long. You know, on my way I was thinking a stroll through the woods and found this beautiful piece of wood. Clarence said it'd be perfect for wood carving. Oh, sure. What would Clarence know about wood carving? They're actually quite the... I have a woodworker themselves. 
I'd be the judge of that. Hand it over. Soft and simple enough to carve. Hard enough to hold small details. And a fine and even wood grain. It's gorgeous. Clarence really knows their wood, huh? It's pretty, it's pretty though. I don't know if my old hands would do it any good. Do you think this could uh, make a good anniversary gift? I think you would make a wonderful anniversary gift out of it. No matter the wood craftsmanship or technique, uh, technique, your care will always show through. I think I know what I want to make for Anne. Thanks for your help, Ava. Before I leave it to you, uh, before I leave it to you, leave it. Any chance you know where I could find Greg? Greg. Now that's a name you ha uh, you don't hear a lot nowadays. A real old timer at the forest. Haven't seen the old slugger around in a bit. He usually comes and goes as he pleases. Wouldn't know where to point you if any more certainty than I, I guess. Well then, I'll keep asking around. I'll deliver this letter eventually. I'm sure you will. Alright. Now we need... Uh, for Irene... Where was Arlene at? Was she... Was she over here? I don't think she was. Now you gotta remember where she's at. You still there, creepy voice? Yes. Ribbit. But I must tend to the worms. They call for me. Okay then. Bye bye. Ribbit. Uh, well, Mr. Voice? Hello, Wormy. How are you? You trailed the dirt on your daily run, yes? Mm, yes. Quite interesting indeed, thank you. Here's your, uh, crop <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's a odd one, he is, if I don't say so myself. An odd one. <laughs> All right, let's see, cause Daisy is over here, right? Daisy is over here, and then Anne is over here as well. There's this over here too. That I'm going to grab. Come here, you. All right, cool. Um, let me see. Where was our Arlene? Arene. Arene. She wasn't around here, was she? No. She was probably up. Oh my gosh, I can never get this. Come on. There we go. That's Donna. Still working on the, the Greg delivery. Sounds like a toughie. I'm sure you'll get it though. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Donna. I want to find where Arlene is. Cause I have a feeling that I know where she is, but then my my head is like, no, you don't. So I'm like in the middle with it, really. Okay. Let me see here. That's Gilbert. How's your turnips? They haven't been gotten bi any bigger. Oh, that's good. Yep. Remember, tiny is the goal. <laughs> tiny is the goal. Um. And 
that Sindar. Arlene? Oh. Depending on who's asking. Uh, I remember we've never met before. Oh, I don't remember a new recruit. Well, explain yourself. Uh, you've got mail. Or should I say, <laughs> secret intel. You shouldn't say that. Oh, sorry. Well, in that case, I have a completely normal letter from the Swamp. What's the official... What's our official doing helping the citizens into our operation? Let's see it. Here you go. And one top tier example of a normal layer. Nothing secret about it. Okay. Difficult. I'll have to think about it. What did he say anyways? Since it's totally not secret and all. Clever one. Well, I asked about this part in my... I mean, our plan. Guess he's getting impatient without instructions. But I'm unsure what to tell him. What do you mean? I'll tell you some other time. If you're in one of the grift if you're one if you're on the grift now anyway, could you run by Kaz for a status update? Top secret. Ah yeah, boss. He's up in that cave near the blue Windmill. Curious fella. Hope he doesn't give you any trouble. I hope so too. Good luck, recruit. S All right. Oh, another achievement. So, friggin' sp uh, the blue. Okay. Spinning wheel. Got it. So I probably have to go... Oh, come on, little me. I have to go... I have to go up that way. To be able to get to where I gotta go? Oh, yeah. I almost missed that completely. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna go this way. Oh wait, no, other way. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna go whoosh. He said the purp the blue spin wheel. <clears throat> Which is probably not around said here. We have to go probably more up. This is a garbage can, I just realized. I just realized there's a garbage can. Alright, sweet, we're going up here. I saw this little thing right there. I'll get it when I come back down. Oh, sweet. We're in another little area now. We're in a different area. What is... Who? Hello? I'm a crimp barrier. Cool. Ah, sure look... It sure looks like it. But that's not all. Oh? I'm a sad... Uh, crimp barrier. No. What's got you feeling unhappy, Barrier? My hat. It's gone. I feel incomplete without it. What does the hat of yours look like? It's round and orange and smells kind of like uh, crickets. So it's a small orange. No, it's a hat. My hat. You are you sure it's not an orange? Yes, an orange is a fruit, and this is a hat. If it helps to think of my hat as an orange, then you can consider it an orange. But it's not an orange, it's a hat. Okay. Well, 
I'll go a uh, look for an orange shaped hat. I'll let you know if I find anything. Thank you, thank you. If you need me, I'll be here taking a nap. Uh, so that I can at least wear my hat in my dreams. I'll see you later. Zzz. <laughs> Cute. Okay. We're looking though for a guy that lives the wi the windmill. Oh look, there's orange stuff here. I think I got it. <laughs> got an achievement as well too with that. Nice. All right, now let's go and talk to that guy again. Max, are you awake? Oh yeah, yeah, I am now. What's up? Uh, what's up? Is your hat? Cause it's goes up on top of your head. Get it? Because your head is up. Never mind. Your hat. Ta-da! My hat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll never lose it again. It is an easy hat to lose. I must admit with it being so similar to an orange uh-huh I found my one hat out of the mi millions of oranges obviously it's just uh, distant hat energy sure we'll we'll, we'll, we'll we'll choke it up on to that and not my supreme searching skills thanks again Eva Whenever I, uh, whenever I wear my hat, I'll think of you now. The highest honor. I'll see you, Max. See you, Ava. All right, let's go to the windmill. Ooh. Um... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So how do I get f over there? Um, uh, maybe I have an idea. Oh my gosh, this is a brilliant idea. It's a foggy. It's Jim. I've been expecting you. Oh, really? Uh, can you help me find Greg? Yes. Yes? Wait. No. Not again. Well, I could. I just thought you were here to listen to my encouraging song. Maybe deliver a recording uh, contract? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm really just here for Greg. Greg is my best dear friend, but he's always stealing the spotlight. He's a bear? What? You're the first one that's not surprised at the fact I have a friend. Nice. Well, where is he then? Should be easy to remember if he's your best friend. Well, he'll... He... Well... He's just hop, skip, and a jump over yonder. For me, at least. For someone of your st st uh, stature, it's, uh, how do I put it, more complicated. Is it that short joke? Rude. 
Well, no, it's just George lives in a cave in a difficult to reach area. You need to do quite some obstacles to get up there. I'm not sure you're real, real you're a real male scout. They have at least like 40 of those male scout patches. Oh, I don't have that many yet. I still need two more patches. Oh, well, then probably get those first. Uh, do you know how? Yeah, I can see in my in my handbook. It lists all the patches and what to do to get them. Coolio. Go get at least two more patches and come back to me. I'll be expecting you. <laughs> I like how he says that when he's just like, I'll expect you. No, I want the thing. Yep, I got it. Nice. Alright, cool. So when we look at our bat thing, it tells us what uh, badges we need. Uh, badges for Greg. Wow, I need only one more animal? Holy crap. Under 30 seconds? Holy crap, really? I think I got all I needed for... Alright. Let's do this. Got it. Let's go down here now. And then we can deliver for... Tofin over here. I'm coming to you, buddy. Thirty seconds. I gotta sleep. All right. Tofin, I can smell it already. You got more mushrooms than samples. I <laughs> sure have. Which means it's a uh, mushroom fact time. Not again. Did you know that fungi can form underground root connections with each other? So when you're when you're walking through the forest and you see a mushroom, that mushroom knew that you were coming because the ro the root connect told it about you. They're so cool. I don't like that fact very much. Can I go? You can go. Look for more. The blue, pink, grail, despite this fusion name. Got it. And that's it, Ava. You can do it. So I need to find a blue mushroom. Got it. Got it. Do I have more that I can pick from? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at my hat. It's so freaking cute. Alright, so I need to find a blue one. Sounds good to me. Eh. Eh. Ah, oh, man. Shoot. That's something, though, up there. I can't seem to get it, though. Mm. All right. So I gotta find a blue mushroom for you, and then... What else do I need to do? Kaz. For Daisy from... Oh, uh, okay, so I gotta go back to Daisy then. Daisy! Oh, hey, Eva. Uh, have you got a second drawing for me? Sure do. 
Oh, look, it's a coin. Isn't this that coin Kiki has? I'm not sure, did uh, Sindor draw this? Yep. Uh, she got that special coin from Kiki to start a collection. Oh, how kind. I'm glad Sindor has someone to share her coin passions with. We should invite Kiki over for tea sometime as a thank you. Thanks so much for bringing it to me. This one is getting pinned up right next to the first one. Please drop by if you get another. Yay. All right, cool. Now we just got to go and find Kaz. Kaz is going to be an interesting one. Because they said that Kaz like is like in a purple area where I can't find him or something like that. We'll figure it out. Don't you fret. We'll figure it out. But I think it's in the same area that Ham was at. So I'm going to go back to where Ham was. And that was like, like right across from here. All right. Let's go do a thing. So we're gonna go this way. And we let's see here. I wonder what the worm's all about, though. Purple cave, he said. Where on earth would the purple cave be? Oh, is it over down here? No, it can't be. Is it? He said purple cave. This is like where his house is. Uh, now we're just in the back from where that is. Can I like walk in the water? I can. 10 out of 10 game. <laughs> so I have to go back. This isn't Kaz, right? This is Basil. Uh, check this out. Before paper was, uh, converted, uh, writing on, we used to write on clay or salt ties. Well, glad we invested paper then. I would have needed a bunch dirty your backpack to carry all those books and all those rocks heavy rocks heavy books <laughs> you could have been swole a swole scout instead of a male scout <laughs> all right keep reading bud you got it you got it i got it we got it hey Where is this dude? What is his name? Kaz? Kazakaz? Kazaru? You know, what the sucky part about it is, is eye allergies are really bad. Like, really bad. And it's insane. I wonder if I have to go, like, all the way. I might have to go all the way. Oh, she just sits on her own. I have to go, like, all the way up. Like, like, all the way. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. I wanna see if I can maybe get all the way from here. 
Let's see. All right, so we got this beautiful area here. Okay, with all those, with all those, and those. I wanna see if I'm able to like get out of here. I wonder. I do wonder about it. Let's see if we can actually accomplish it. I do want to make it like an adventure where I want to step on the pad, lily pads and not be like, oh, I could just go through water and ruin the experience for myself. Because it's supposed to be like, you know, oh, shoot, it's supposed to be water. Like, you're supposed to go on the pads and be all nice and cute. Be like, oh, I'm, I'm jumping on the lily pads. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Hello, friend. Okay, this is going to be very risky because I don't know how we're going to do this. Um, we just like bounce ourselves. Oh, man. There's a little cave right in between the freaking waterfall. That's clever. Oh my gosh. Kaz, your room looks so cute. Look at the time. Holy crap, holy. And we got the blue one. Nice. Look at all these drawings. Your fur is so cute. Kaz, you're an amazing beast. My, my, my. That outfit <laughs> is ingenious. Such a bold use of color. And that hair color with your hat. Perfect. Oh, thank you. I chose it myself. <laughs> well, you must style me one day. The name's Kaz. My name's Ava. Uh, remember, we've never met before? What now? The secret, the super secret code. Oh yeah, sure. Hello, uh, hello, super spy. How's work pro processing? Arlene uh, has sent me with a letter and wants a status report. Uh, uh, man, do you? Oh dear. It is not processing in the slightest. I fear. What do I say? That you're doing, you're done with the work? Oh, no, 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 no. I could uh, never outright lie to the comrade. Oh. Uh, but you seem to have been quite busy. It's all trash. Trash, I tell you. Nothing worthy. Nothing perfect. Perfect? Why does it have to be perfect? I, what? It's just work and progress, right? A sketch isn't instantaneously a finished piece. Well, I guess I do have more than enough sketches. See, that's not nothing. I'm pretty sure that's what we in the biz call something. All right, fine. You can show this sketch to Arlene, but please uh, assure her the final product surely won't be like that. Don't worry. I'll be sure to remind her. I shudder at, at the thought of her judging eyes. Quick, get that snooty illustration of my slight, out of my sight in this instant. 
Hey, we got Kaz. Nice. But Kaz, this is a beautiful area. It really is. And honestly, if you're an artist, nothing is just... Nothing is nothing. It's something. It came from your mind. It's who you are as a person. It's what you thought about. If you think that it's nothing and it's just meh, and it's not, like, perfect... Come on now. Come on now. No one ever thought about that but you. So it's really not nothing. It's really amazing. I used to think about that when I was drawing. When I thought nothing was really nothing. But honestly, it is something. It's in your own beautiful way, your own beautiful illustration of things. It's how you think and how you see things. So it's it's nothing. It's something. And it's a beautiful piece of artwork. Never forget about that. Always keep that in the back of your mind. Whenever you feel like you have like an art piece that's just like, ah, uh, I'm gonna just throw it in the garbage. No, it's... It can be worked out, twinked, if you wanted it to. But honestly, it's, it's, it's something. It's something that no one else thought about but you. Reporting back after my long and tourist journey. Ah, recruit, you made it. How's it going? Ah, it took a bit of convincing, but I've returned with a progress report. You managed to get your hands on one of his sketches. A rare sight. You must truly have a way with words. Or <laughs> quick fingers. It took some convincing. And he told me to give you a disclaimer. Um, Mundu. It is just a sketch and not uh, the recitative, recitative of the finished work. Okay. Something like that. I felt like I w was back in that cave for a sec. Find a work of this. Masterpiece of that. I don't think I've ever seen so exclusive finished pieces he talks about. I knew it was just risky working with him. But I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I do kind of want to see one of the masterpieces after all. Must really be something. The way he talks about it. You think so? I hope so. At least I have one reliable con- Con- didn't- Swamp? No, I meant you. Uh, I still don't want to do with Swamp. He's eager to help. I know, I just- I know what to assign him to. One piece of advice. Working with friends is difficult. Maybe that's why Janet's like that. She just- likes me so much. I'm sure that's what it is. Anyways, uh, could you deliver this to Swamp? I should at least keep him up, uh, updated with our current progress. Aye, aye, boss. Nice, we're going back to Swamp. We're gonna go this way. And then also we're gonna go and see our little friend. Give him this mushroom. Because we do have the blue mushroom now. So we'll do that quick and stop by to him. And then we'll go to Swamp. Alright, there we go. Terrific. I've also unlocked another uh, mushroom fact. Please know. So far, I've only made me queasy. This one's not bad, I promise. Okay, then. There's a type of mushroom that can control your mind. Uh, Cordy Creep mushrooms can uh, infect an insect's body. Control them to climb to the top of the tree. Isn't that just magnificent? Are we done here? I have to go and cry or scream. It's only natural, Ava. Just like the turning of ties. You can't fight the waves. Neither can you fight the mind of control mushrooms. I'm not comfortable by this. That's okay. 
None of the ones on my list should have these effects. Should. Yeah, it's fine. Speaking of the list, there's uh, more samples to gather. The wrinkled peach. Well, it looks a bit uh, wrinkly peach. I like to grow near lots of colorful flowers. There's a gold tooth. A yellow mushroom. For the lack of the better word, I like, I'd like. i say it looks hairy, bumpy. They're usually in humid places and grow on wood. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Love to hear it. All right, Stump. Let's go say hi to you. I got you your stuff. There you go. Beep, beep. Delivery for Swamp. Danae. That's not you right. Well, I guess I can't deliver it then. Oh, no, no, no. no. Gimme, gimme. What is this from? Is it, you know, Intel? A oh, secret of, uh... Variety. Ding, ding, ding. We've got a runner. I think, uh, Irene wanted to give you a progress update. A sketch from Kaz? How did you get this, uh, intonation? Threatened his shiny trinkets with some bomb bombs? Some kind of words never hurt anyone. Is Kaz in need of some tutoring? They're in luck. I'm his biggest fan. I don't know the first thing I, about art. I just know that his colorful, colorfuls always make me feel a bit more happy inside. They are really pretty. Like looking up at the twinkling skies. Oh, you talk uh, just like them. Like a poem. I don't understand him half the time. But I should visit them again sometime. Sadly, I'm not allowed to leave my post. Whatever I shall, I do. You can write, right? Uh, you can deliver mail, correct? You can deliver mail! Wow, you come up with the most creative solutions. Uh, well, could you go deliver this to Kaz? On a scale from yes to no, how secret is this entail? Uh, never mind, I got a blast. Oh, blasting! I never understood. Blast away! <laughs> Oh my gosh. So freaking cute. Okay, anyway. Let's go give this to Kaz. Go check him out. In fact, I think we have two for him. Am I going in circles? No, I'm just going over here. Gotta go to the bucket. Num, 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 num. I have not a lick of work to show this time. Over my cold feathers, will I show another? Sketch. I get goosebumps from the word. Wouldn't that be crow bumps? Crow? I'm not just a crow. But a... Uh, Raven. Behold my raven black feathers, not mere crow black. Uh, I mean, besides all the pain, they're surely black. Anywho, I come from the swamps. Explains the smell. Unnecessary. Well, you smell like paint. I do? What happened to my light vanilla aroma with a touch of rose and lavender? Long gone. Anyways, I have a letter from Swamp, from the swamps. Uh, you can write? You expect him to draw a picture? <laughs> well, he has before. I still have them hanging on my wall. Aw, they're so pure and intensive. I could, I uh, grasp some of that curiosity. The colors always made me feel a bit happy inside. Did you help him write this? That he wrote himself. Oh, no. Happy. Uh, enjoy rat. The colors also make me feel happy inside. Then why not just paint the colors? Masterpiece can come second. I think I would like to try that. 
Well, it surely is, isn't a masterpiece, but I don't think it has to be. That's the spirit. It should be wrought along the show it to Arlene before I get the doubts. I think in the meantime, I might go paint some more colors. Okie dokie. See you later. Hey. <laughs> nice. Okay. So we are going to go and we're going to go and then go give this to our Arlene then? Yeah, Marlene. Marlene. Yeah, that sounds good, right? Ta-da! What's this? A masterpiece from Kaz? I assume it's up to your standards in that case. It's better than I dared hope. How did you... I think you should promote Swamp to team's mascot. He really managed to lift some spirits. Oh, I knew those two get all along. I should have let them work together. I'd be scared Swamp would distract Kaz. Maybe not everyone is as self-relevant as me. No need to be self-relevant with friends like these. They want to make this your uh, this work just as badly as you. Even if they weren't as sure how to go about it as you. By the way, all this very non-secret intel, what's it all for? You're not able if you're, if you're unaware. I'm not sure that's how the law works. That's okay. I avoid working with the law. Wait, what? How strict is your relationship with the law? I always take a sip from Janet's drink when she makes me get it for her. Ah, you're a real cr uh, skull. How do you feel about male-related crimes? The worst kind. Worse than stealing a sip? Yeah, probably. Worse than being greedy. Is stealing a sip greedy? Maybe a bit un... Sanitary, but it's for survival. Yeah, and then greed is probably worse. What? We, we're, where are we talking about again? Swamp Kaz and I have made a letter for that cat. He's a very greedy cat. And we thought we should lighten his pockets a little. Oh, like stealing? Shh. Let's just say we're talking, we're taking a sip from his wallet. It's for our survival. He's still got the whole cup. And he's also made other people get his drink. He didn't make it himself. Oh. So if you could just deliver this letter to Kiki, the cat, real quick. That'd be grand. On it, boss. I'm afraid of what this letter is going to do. So they're going to steal the coins from Kiki? Urgent delivery for Mr. Cat. From the bank, I mean. <laughs> the bank of the gro Grove Wood. Grumble. Bank? Give me that. Mm, blah, blah, blah. Deposit? Waiting for me? You got a pen for me, kid? I'm a male scout, actually. Whatever, whatever. Got a pen or not? I don't think so. Ugh, of course. Let me check to be sure. Hold on. A marvel of energizing a stick of ink. Give me that. <sighs> Name, bank number, check. Card, expiration date, uh, check. Mother's oh, maiden name. First pet name. Okay, that should be it. Make sure to get this back to the bank safely. It's an important deposit. Deposit to me is always top priority. Uh, we'll do. Could I make my can? Can I have my pen back? I never specified how long I would be borrowing it. First rule of business: always read the fine print. But you said it out loud. There wasn't any fine print to read. Well, in that case, finders keepers. And I found this pen in my hand just now. Kiki, what the hell?
Holy shit, man. Stole it from Janet, anyway. Ugh, go deliver this back to the bank right away. You better. No dilly-dallying on the clock. Must hesitate. Ay yo Yeah, achievement. Woohoo. That's an interesting freaking bank thing. So, they're basically... Is my controls, like, doing something freaking funky? Okay. Whatever crime you're committing to that cat, he deserves worse. <laughs> I like how I'm just, like, freaking back-talking him. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Don't worry. We're hitting him where it hurts. Nothing he values more than his big selfish and his big capital. I think you should just hit him next time. I'd also be satisfied with a kick. But you got him to sign? It didn't take much convincing. He smelled money and basically uh, stopped listening after that. Not that he was listening before th that anyway. I owe you big time. Just so happens I recently came into some wealth. So let me know if you ever need anything. Oh, don't worry. Us male scouts get autocracy <laughs> composite and friendship. Secret mission, of course. Speaking of our operation, I guess that's the mission officially completed. Cool. I never completed the mission before. We should go deliver the good news. Could you please go deliver this to Kaz? And I think I should just go talk to Swamp myself. I just want to be his friend again. No more work. I'm sure he'll love to see you and hear all about your... Our operation. I'll go check on Kaz. Good luck and have fun. Nice. We're going to go to Kaz now. Let's go. Let's see what you got. Ah, bonjour. Bonique. Uh, uh, Die mail. Ah, uh, cat. Whoa. Did you make that? <laughs> I did. It's wonderful, Kaz. Mmm, smell like paint. And a touch of val vanilla. And rose. And a lavender? Ah, you just. Nothing to smell here but colors, my friend. A variable universe of haze. I eat, sleep, and breathe paint. Hey, buddy. Take a few. Deep breaths. Wait, no, don't. I mean, maybe just put the paint tubes down for a sec. I have a letter and some good news. Irene called your work a masterpiece and Kiki ate it up. Not literally. Don't worry. Your masterpiece is signed and on its way to be cashed in. And well, signed by you, sadly. But that's probably better. I'd be like signing your name under, well, something illegal. I don't care. It's not signed by me. <laughs> I expected ego death, my friend. I know mortal uh, possessions are, are instant. I must simply create. Is it okay if I do a big spring cleaning in here then? No. Don't touch my shinies. Exactly. I think, I, I think what you need is a nap. Maybe some water. Not paint water. I don't uh, need naps. Actually, it sounds very nice. Go count some sleep. Some see Go count some sheep. No more worrying about work. The creating can also wait until tomorrow. That is very true. That is very true. Always, don't always push it. Always wait, always do the best that you can, and then there's always tomorrow that you can be doing it. And some sleep, some stuff, some good nutrition is always good for your well-being. Everything is well good for you. You should be able to sleep, have nice, breathe some air, touch some grass. It'd be all good. And then also, with a cleaner mind. And do, and do, uh, and do. That mology worked wonders. Also bored me to death. Wow, can't believe you'd insult like that stinky crow. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, one last thing before you can get ready for your nap. 
Do you happen to know somebody by the name of Greg? Greg? As in Gregorworth? Greg's Bert? Greg Monthly? Oh, I'm afraid I can't be of too much help with that. I heard of Greg, but I can't recall seeing him around. Maybe one of the other re residents here knows. All right. Well, thank you anyway, Cass. I should be the one thanking you for all you've done today. Here it goes. I cannot say that. Really can't. So kudos to him. The male. Straight from the heart. Well, smell you later, stinky crow. Smell you later, fungus pal. <laughs> I am a fungus and I am proud. That's a bell. I just realized that. That's a bell. Hanging from the roof. Or ceiling. And roof ceiling. Alright. So wait, what's the other mail that we have there? For Kaz to ham. Oh, we have another one? F I guess we have another one for for him. From cat from uh, ham. Wonder if he'll take it. He probably will. Uh oh, did you make that? I did. It's wonderful, Kaz. Uh I have a letter from Ham. There we go. Ham. I know Swamp and him got along. My friend's friend is therefore my double friend. Or swarm enemy. Pretty neutral true. But today I chose to be friends. It only says your food shall become my food. Your food shall become my food. Okay. Do you have a crumb of context for me? He's wondering what your favorite food is so he can carry new things. Ah, uh, pursuing the uh, cultural arts. I wonder how to support this uh, Donny Vuor. One of my favorite foods is chocolate. What really elevates the chocolate, though? It's coffee. I'd gladly drink coffee at any hour of the day and regardless of the chocolate. So it might be a little because of that. Here, I have a piece of chocolate for you. And for coffee. I only have some beans right now. Chocolate and beans? Gotcha. Uh, you can just eat the beans, right? Well, well yes, but then we're all set. Thanks, guys. Gotta run now. Gotta make it this food combo to ham. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he was happy about the friggin' choices that I made with that. Chocolate and coffee. Like mixing them both together? I don't know how that's gonna end up, but alrighty then. We're gonna see how that goes. The notes get like higher. And there's sweets involved or anything like that. It goes along with it. So, what's Kaz's recommendations? Combo of chocolate and coffee. And they said that you can just eat them as is. Let's pop them right in then. Eh. It's okay, I guess. A bit over the place. I don't know. This might be a weird... bit weird wild for me. I think I need something more sensible. Oh, I know. Shelby. They seem uh, sensible. In some ways, yes, I see it. Got a letter for her? Can't leave without a letter. <laughs> that is a real thing. I suppose I can go without a letter. But letters feel nice and jiggling around in my backpack. Makes me feel busy. Alright. A letter it is. Uh, could you take this letter to Shelby near S Scout? It would be an honor, dear Ham. Look at us doing mail business. Whoa, what do you think? Not me, Scout, not me. See you soon. <laughs> what do you think about that? Not me at all. <laughs> oh, man. Me doing Scout business? Ha! Huh? Wait, am I going to be able to get that thing from up here? Ooh. If I just make it. 
Oh my gosh, she did it. Heck yeah! Let's go to Shelby now. Hey there, Shelbs. Oh, hi. Uh, what do I owe this visit? You have a letter from Ham. From Ham? Don't think he was a fan. Oh, he isn't. What does he mean with, I must taste what you taste? Oh, he's not the cleverest. But basically, he's wanting to try people's favorite food combos. Oh, that's a piece of work. Okay, cake. Uh, but with what? Well, no, I didn't mean it like that, dummy. As you may or may not know, you become a bit forgetful when you are a famous athlete, see? To keep my, uh, physique, I can only eat foods that make me go fast. Ergo, fast foods only. Makes sense. It's right there in the name. Price, Pricely. My favorite food combo is french fry dipped in pickle juice. You know, never tried that. Might be a good, that might be good. Speechless. No, you take that back. Come on, me. We're trying it. Yeah, it's worth a sh shattering, I'm not gonna lie. Here's some leftovers from last night. You can pass them along to Ham. Thanks, Shelby. I'll be sure to get this into that mouth of his. That's an idea, yes? Don't miss. <coughs> I'll do my best. Bye-bye. Toodles! I, dr I literally drank my drink and then it would like literally went somewhere else, not even in my mouth. And I was like trying to be like, voice, come back. Come back, voice. Because <clears throat> that was interesting. I like how all the design of the apples are such different, like, colors. Especially ones that have, like, stars on them. That's unique. That's a unique one. Whoa. I'm getting really dangerous. I don't know how I feel about that. Wildly dangerous. Here we go. And then after this, I think I'm going to see what I need. See what happens. Well, what you got for me, Ava? So Shelby's right. She gave me here leftovers to you to leftovers to you. I was to take these to your mouth directly. Oh, that's kind. What is it? Her favorite food is french fries dipped in pickle juice. Uh, okay. Well, it's worth a try, I suppose. I like french fries. I like pickles. This should be a slam dunk. Nom, 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 nom. And... No. Oh, dear. This is worse of both worlds, actually. Ava, I'm running out of hope. I thought they would have would have been... Had something by now. But I'm gaining nothing and losing hope. That's not true. Now we have a better idea of the things you don't like. You're that much closer to finding what you ha what you love. I suppose you're right. Come on, Ham. One more? Socks is really exclusive. They must be hiding a real big clar uh, clarity uh, secret. Could you take this letter to Socks then, please? Of course, Sam. Don't you worry. It'll all work out. And he's really close. So that's a good thing. Socks, I need your advice on foods. Mail delivery for Socks. Me? I didn't know your name was an... Uh, good name. What does it stand for? Socks. Give hint. First S stands for sucks. Naturally. Well, sucks, you have a note from <laughs> Ham. <laughs> read this sound. You can't read it yourself? Never learn how. Oh, I can teach you to read. 
Eva, Eva. No. If sucks weed, suck may be too powerful. Whiskey. I. <laughs> you know, what's sure fine? Uh, ham rope. <clears throat> Through eating, I can become like you. This is the worst one yet. I understand. And want good food, see? Y yeah. So, what sucks, uh, specialty? Crayon. Cr crayon? See. Dirt rolled crayon. Why dirt? Seasoning. Sucks. I. Why do you even eat crayons? Why, why even not? Eat crayons, see color. That's how word works. How many crayons have you eaten? Now? Y yeah, so far, how many crayons? Mmm, 15. What? Maybe less, maybe m more. I'll become blur after 10. I guess that's what eating crayons does to you. Do you maybe have a crayon I can bring to, to ham? CC. Best flavor. Blue crayon rolled in dirt already. No worry. Tastes like... No. Suck to keep it surprised for him. Great. Well, thanks, Socks. No problem. I don't understand, but... Okay. Ham. Here's some rolled up piece of crayon. Num num. Num 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 num. Ham, I'm getting crumbs on me. Num num num. Sorry. Mm. Uh, just uh, come back later. Eh, there's the crayon. I I thought it was already given to me. And bone. Sorry, it's just ham right now. No bone. Unless I have bones inside me. I don't think so. Never seen them. Anyways, yes. What's up? I have sock snack. It's certainly unique brace yourself a dirty crayon is the dessert uh sensitive <laughs> sadly yes well i did ask i suppose here goes nothing how is it it's you don't have to be nice you can spit it out actually it's not that bad what oh no now it's actually really bad. Oh dear. I'm feeling uh, all rumbly in my tumbly. Oh, it hurts. If I, I need comfort food. <laughs> Blueberries and cheese. I thought you didn't like that anymore. It's better than this for sure. Blueberries should be on uh, the picnic basket. The cheese I threw in the trash. Please get them. Uh, sit tight, ham. I'll run back there and grab back. Please hurry, speedy. I'll be as speedy as I can be. Where's it? There, there's the cheese that he fell through in the trash can. There we go. I was wondering why he did that. Ava, please tell me you have blueberry cheese. Ah, here you go, ham. They are a bit uh, trash flavored. Sorry about that. Anything is better than this. It's sealed. Blueberry and cheese with garbage sauce has saved me. This is literally the best food ever. Are you sure you're not delirious from the stomach ache or something? No, not really. I feel a lot better. The blueberry is really good. And it gets even better with cheese. Uh, gotcha cheese is the best of all. But the garbage uh, sauce... Translate. It's just chef's kiss. This is the best food there is for sure. I should have seen it coming. I feel better than ever. Sure. Well, healthy ham, riddle me this. Do you know where Greg is? Greg? Oh, that's a toughie. I recall Greg about... I recall something about a Greg or maybe a Meg. Or was it a Jeff? Steph. Anyway. Whoever it was, they don't live in the valley, or I would have seen them around here. 
They might be on the edges of the valley, but that's not easy ground to navigate. So I'm not sure. Sorry, I don't have the best answer. Oh, well, maybe someone else some else knows. Bye, Ava. Thanks for the food. You're welcome, dude. Alright, who wouldn't know about Sir Greg? Maybe the guy in the well. You know? Maybe he knows. You there, Mr. Well Voice? Maybe not. Where do we find a Greg? Deliver an anonymous love letter. How do I deliver an anonymous love letter? Clean up the forest. Mushroom sample. Find 20... Deliver letter. Alright, maybe I can ask you something. Oh, it's a scout. I know, I've seen you around a bit. But I don't think I've ever heard your name yet. What do you call you? My name is Ava. And my pronouns are she, her. But why the sudden interest in me? You haven't shown any before. You seem like a diligent worker. It's good to keep tabs on people who are willing to do lots of work. For a little conservation. What's conservation? You know, a salary. Payment. You lost me. You don't get any money for this mail job? Well, technically, I'm not even qualified to do it yet. An underpaid, unqualified in... I should take notes. This is good business practice. Scout, I mean, uh... Shoot. What was their name again? Something with an M. You, you know what? Never mind. We don't have to be on this fir on the first pay name biz uh, basis. Good idea. It's business not to pleasure after all. See you around, Scout. See you, Money Cat. See you later. If you ever need any vegetables from them, let me know. Oh, well... I don't have enough space in my backpack right now. Maybe another time? Always welcome. Alright. You're, uh, you're just who I was looking for. Awesome. Really? What a coin... Uh, what a coin... What a co uh, coinificent. I need to ask you a big favor, hon. How big? Like gravel big or stone big or rock big or boulder? Uh, not actually that big. I need you to deliver a letter for me to Harley. Heck yeah. I could leave for you. That's my exp <laughs> expertise. But it's a secret letter. You can't let Harley know I sent it. And the suspense. Please tell me what it is, what's in, in it. It's just something I think she needs to hear. What kind of things? Like good things, bad things, funny things, scary things. Eva, less imagination. More mail delivery. Please, I wouldn't ask unless it was important. She's the nervous type, and I hap happen to know there's something big on her mind. I hope this will help her calm, down, calm her nerves and let her do what needs to be done. Okay, fine. I'll do my job. Quickly. Thank you, Han Bun. Now run like the wind. Bring my anonymous note to Haley. Whoosh! Whoosh! Here we go! Whoosh! Boop! Oh, fiddlesticks! Penny, your for your thoughts. Oh, it's just... It's just a case of just... Uh, never mind. I can't even get the words out. It's okay. Words aren't... Words are hard. Just skip the ones you won't want to say. What's on your mind? Uh, don't worry. It, it's a personal matter. I've got for me a little scout. Oh, no idea. But it's an envelope, right? Yeah. But inside it, who knows? Not me. You'll just have to roll the dice on this one. Alright, here goes. Who can view this? No one. But also, what's in it? I'm really curious. It's a letter saying I need to drum up the confidence to do what 
will make me happy. It's not a bad idea. I just think a bit in over my head. I would like to formally request that you spill the beans immediately. All right. Well, only because you asked so nicely. I am... I have a crush. What? And Donna. And I kind of want to ask her out. You seem to be breathing a bit uh, rapidly. Love quest? How do you want to do it? What's the plan? What do we need? Well, um, that's the problem. I want to give her something special to show I care in a special way. But I'm not sure what to do yet. Let me have a think. Come back in a bit. Okay, okay. Yep, I can. Wait, no problem. How long do I have to wait, Arlie? Hey, little scout. Did you figure it out? Oh, calm down. Yes, ish. No. Well, is there anything she mentioned that she likes? Oh, Donna likes a all sorts of things. That's the problem. I can't think of anything extra special she, she might like. She was talking about some kind of special spoon. Spoon? Yeah, I think it's called a love spoon. It's supposed to be a spoon that one lover gives to another. Oh, I thought you meant like spooning or something like that. Hmm. I don't really remember what uh, she said about it besides that it was a little bit lost in her eyes. Would a normal spoon be fine? No, 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 no. A love spoon is special. I'm, I'm sure about that. Can you uh, please help me figure out more about it? Sure, there's no spoon I can't handle. Thanks, Ava. I, I can really use the help. I'm a bit nervous, too. Donna's just so cool and calming. But sadly, she can't help me with uh, this one. Maybe start asking my friend Ham about this love spoon. If anyone knows about the love spoon, it'll be him. He can chew his way through a book like no one else. Chewing and reading? Mostly, yes. Here, I joined the situation down. Give this note to Ham and he'll know just what to do. Alrighty, be back soon. Aw, oh, that's so cute! I get, to, I get to see some love going on here. That's the love letter that we needed. Aww. We're going. We're gonna go and do the love thing. We're gonna go and do that love thing. Alright, Ham. See what we got for a love spoon. Let's see. Let's see what he got. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode as much as I am. I really do love this game. And I really do recommend this game. And it is very calming. I I really do enjoy like the art style and everything about it. And the story behind it as well from many different characters. I have a hard time reading. I know it's a little cringe. I do apologize about that. Um... A little thing about me, I don't really share this a lot online, but I do have a hard time reading. Um, when it comes to like stuff like uh, like words individually, like maybe big words I can't really comprehend in my head. I, I can read it and I can put it in my mind, but when I talk it does not come out correctly. I mix up my, my words as well too, like maybe B and D. I don't know if it's like, I know what it what it's called, but I forget what it's called. Um, I believe I have that. I never really been diagnosed for it, um, but I know it goes through my head. So I do really do apologize for my lack of speech or my speech in general. I do, I am trying. I read to myself. I do a lot of stuff basically every day to improve. I really do want to help myself in this matter because I do struggle with it and hopefully in the future I will be able to impact myself a whole lot and to be able to achieve my goals and to be able to talk correctly. 
I also get a little nervous online as well too. Uh, for the reason that I'm kind of really still new to streaming, recording, all that good stuff, and talking to all of you. It's just a little new. So I am working, I am being better and trying, so that's really all that counts. I'm just really honored and really privileged to be able to do this. So, anyway, enough about me. Let's get back to the game where it's where it's beautiful and all pastelly. So, let's talk to Ham. I'm here on a love quest. Eh, sorry, I don't really do romantic myself. Uh, but you seem like a fun person. I'm sure you'll find somebody good soon. Not for me. Read this. It's the hot goss straight from the sauce. If I understood this right, Harley wants a spoon from me. At this point, my intel regarding the love spoon is appropriate. If you happen to have one, that's all the better. Uh, on most importance? Essential to my happiness? Stop reading already and give the scout some spoon info already. Ah, be nice, letter. Even extremely buff, buff hamsters have feelings too, you know. I think Carly's just a bit nervous. Well, I'm not sure about what the whole love spoon thing is about, but I do know about love. I thought you said you didn't do romance. Not firsthand, of course. I'm not trying to get, uh, coaches. Oh, cooties. But in the books I read, love is all about the dramatics or dramatics making a guard jester like running through the rain to uh, be your beloved holding up a bomb book nah, I don't know something like that that was the question I what was the question again I have a different question now, actually was there a very handsome shirtless man on the front of these love books yeah! Did, how did you know? Just a hunch. Everybody knows that the ha uh, handsomer the man, the truer the words. Anyways, that's the love portion of this love spoon thing covered, right? I mean, I can give you a spoon, I guess. I have two. My lovely, amazing, hermoranous uh, spoon for infectionate eating. And a small spoon. I need to eat lots fast so I can get give you the big one, even though it is better. You can't do any serious eating with a small spoon. It is, isn't fit nearly enough food. I need to eat lots of food to get buff. You don't have to fit all the food on the spoon, you know. You take scoops with a smaller spoon instead. Sounds fake. Anyways, it's okay. <laughs> Harley says a love spoon is not normal anyways. But thanks for the offer. I'll write down my advice at least. Maybe she has some use for it. Oh, actually, why not uh, you ask uh, Tof about the love spoon? Tof and Donna are, are good friends. Maybe they heard her say something about it. Who knows? Oh, good idea. All right. Off to the joyous dude that lives in the area. Gonna go down here now. Where is he at? There he is. We are gonna go down there. I come here with a purpose. Oh, do tell. On a quest, a love quest. Oh, sorry, Scout. You're too young for me. It's not for me. It's for somebody else. You're friends with Donna, right? Uh, Correctamundo. We're both roaming collectors of sorts. Well, I'm trying to help out Donna's secret admirer. Haley heard something about a love spoon that Donna is interested in. Do you happen to know anything about that? Yes, I do about it. Okay, great. Uh, could you write down some info for it for Haley? Nope. I don't have arms. But you can write it down on my behalf. You got a pen. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no. What did I say? What kind of male scout would I be if uh, I didn't have one? It's okay. I already believe your cover story. But it's... A, I'm, but I'm really a scout. And that's exactly what I believe. Ready yet? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Ahem. The love spoon is a mir uh, miraculous thing. The scoop of your stew as starlings sing. To taste each scoop with love and new. From spoon your love once gave to you. That's it. Well, I'm sure this will make sense at some point. Uh, you could also just ask Donna what she wants. I suppose so. I'll just have to be very sneaky not to reveal anything. I'm sure it's nothing mostly qualified male scout couldn't handle. See you around, tough. See you, tough. I gotta go to... I gotta go to the... I gotta go... I gotta go... I gotta go to Donna. Alright, Donna. Her word on the street says that you give amazing advice. Or that you know a lot of things. So what is it? Cough it up, dude. What can I do for you today? Hello, Donna. I have a, a suspicious question. Oh, lordly. I'm not interested in legal in, in, in engagements currently. Sorry. Maybe someone else can help? No, it's it's anything. It's not it's not a thing strange, but you're the only one who can help. Um, uh, for hands asking for a friend. Sure, sure. Uh, if someone were to give you a gift in order to woo you, I mean, if, if someone were to ask you out with a gift, uh, what would it be? Scout, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Huh? The thing is. Oh, I really don't want to have to say this to you, but sorry. I'm not romantically interested in you. It's not for me. It's for Haley. Oh, oh, oh big oops. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say. It's okay. I'm glad to know that she uh, she officially making a move. You, you like her back? Of course. Haley is the sweetest little thing I ever did meet. It's clear we both like each other, but oh, lordly lord, we've been uh, looking at, at a snail's piece. So she wanted to know what gift I would like. Yeah, the plan was to get you a love spoon. Oh, lordly. I brought up the love spoon because I was going to give her one. Scout, may I please ask you for your services? Could you deliver this love spoon to Haley? Uh, nothing would make me happier. Fantastic. No need to check in with me after you've delivered it. Uh, from here, we can ma manage it on our own, I think. Uh, you're a good one, Ava. Thanks for helping out. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the little spoon. That's so cute. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys are so freaking cute. You guys are so freaking cute. Oh, you guys. I'm sorry, but they're so freaking cute. I'm going the wrong way because I'm too distracted by their love. Alright, anyway. Oh, I can literally just go this way. I literally just thought about that a little bit. Anyway, okay. So let's go back to... Harley. Give her the stuff. Give her the deeds, give her the love, give her the spoon. Oh my gosh, shit. Gently with the mouse, gently, don't swing the mouse. Okay. Harley! I accidentally spilled some tea, which I did not think I was going to do, but I did. My apologies about that. Alright. If it isn't Ava, I was worried you left me to struggle with this all alone. Uh, what took you so long? Don't worry about it. I have two things for you. First, one is your official advice letter co-autographed by Ham and Toph. 
Oh, let me have a look. Boombox scenario running through the rain. Tasty scope of love. What in the heckity heck paddle whack is all this supposed to mean? Neither of them really helped me figure out how to get a spoon love for Donna. What a mess of, um, <laughs> what a mess I'm in now. Uh, you forgot something. Oh, yeah, you, you have another thing. Uh, lay it on me. Here it is. Your very own love spoon. Oh, you found a love spoon? Amazing. Where did you get this? Ah, oh, you might want to sit down for this one. No, I was born to stand. Lay it on me, Scouty. Donna gave it to me to give to you. She... She likes me back. Without a doubt, she said so herself. Oh, heavens. What a lucky goose am I today. Thank you for bringing this wonderful news to me. No problem. But if you want to thank anybody, you should th thank whoever sent me your great idea. Uh, can you give uh, this note to whoever sent the first letter? Uh, it would be my pleasure. Was that him? Oh, no. It was... Oh, yeah. It was Annie. Go to Annie! Go to Annie, you little scout! Go! I believe in you! Who's this male scout I see? It could be Cupid themselves? Hey, you're the one to talk, Graham Graham. None of this would have happened without your meddling. Ah, oh, well, I couldn't stand by and watch young love flunder. I met, uh, uh, Gilbert when I went looking for nut that buried a nut on my property. And look at us now. So, no matter if it starts with something small or a grand gesture, now that those two have made the first step, I'd figure itself out. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you pretty wise, Grim Grim. I'm plenty wise, you little rapscallion. Well, since you're so wise, do you know where Greg is? Greg? Oh, my stars! I forgot all about him. He's a bit of a, a, a figure around here. Uh, he has a nice spot up out of the valley on the bridge. I guess it's so nice that he doesn't often come down. Oh, I know. Jim hangs around there quite a bit, too. He's a bit of a funny guy. Never, never see him much, either. Sometimes you can hear his voice on the waterfall. He stays around the pond there all alone. If you find Jim, I'm sure he'll help you find Greg, too. I'll go check it out. Thanks for the help. Ah, you and you. Thanks for your help. Ain't we both helpful today, huh? We sure are. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Did I at least get the amount that I needed? Or did I not get it enough for me to figure this out? Got one love, love, love letter. Got that. Got 50. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Maybe I have enough to be able to actually go and see Greg now. I hope so. Let's see. He said 15, right? 15 stamps? 15 completed stamps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 completed, I believe. 15 completed stamps. So, that should be it, right? Should be. Jim Jim! I've got all the patches I need! Wonderful! And you've finished everything you've wanted to? After getting to Greg's place, you're probably leaving immediately. Mail Scout Patrol and all. Oh yeah, I'm sure. To finish up my deliveries then. When you're ready, just glide up with the air from the hot spring to my house. I'll just open it up so you can come be able to glide across now. Oh, easy peasy. And then just find your way through the overgrown bush. And you're going right away as long as you're going generally up. You'll see Greg's cave and it's pretty big. Less easy peasy. But I'm... But, but not in peasable. 
Haha. <laughs> so. Found my bestie Greg already? No. Uh, you know. Preparing. Getting into the zone. Ah, okay. Well, remember, he's just over the broken bridge. You'll need to do some jumping and gliding to reach his cave. Uh, what? I'm not short. I'm super dumpy. Tall, actually. Yep. So, Ava, you're so tall. My neck is hurting. Huff. So, I gotta actually, like, jump jump up there? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Yay! Congrats! Long distance patch. Do I go this way? Which way do I go? Gotta get my letter to Greg. <sighs> Gotta jump these high things. Uh. Okay. Whoa. Oh man. This way. Why are there bones over here? Is Greg like like a really big guy? Oh my gosh, it's Greg. Hello? Mr. Greg? I have a letter for you. It's kinda important. Wake up! Do you think he's Debbie? Bzz. Maybe we should poke him with the stick to check. Bzz. Okay, okay, I won't poke the bear. Bzz. What? You think he's gone into hibernation? What's that? Bzz. Oh, it's like a super nap. That's okay. I'll just wait for him to wake up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bzz. What? Bzz, bzz. Well, for how long? Bzz. Until spring? Huh, but that, but then I can't deliver the letter today. Bzz. Uh, leave it here? Absolutely not. Someone else might take it. It's not the male scout way. Bzz. I don't want to go ask Janet for help. Bzz. Fine, I'll do it. Chance probably still at the van. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode here. We found Greg. We're gonna go talk back to, back to Janet. We also found a mushroom that we can go talk to Toph as well too. But, anyway. I hope you guys liked the series. Thank you so much for watching. We are gonna continue. This is probably gonna... Once we're done with this, it's gonna be the last episode of um of mail time i'm gonna get some of the collectibles as well too with it as well to finish it off thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this game it is on steam you're more than welcome to download it um please support the developers work really hard like honestly work really hard um i will link all their information down below as well and thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye bye take care bye, -bye. so cute